Happy Friday, everyone. We are coming to the end of the Easter season. I know Easter may seem like it was such a long time ago, and in a way it was, because the season of Easter, which we sometimes call Easter Tide, is actually 50 days, and it ends this coming Sunday with the celebration of Pentecost. You'll see back here that I'm getting ready to decorate our altar for Pentecost, and I hope to have some help from Laura Kern McCraner and her beautiful children. This coming Sunday, we will celebrate a truth that we have reminded ourselves of many times in these last few weeks. The church never has been, nor is it now, a building. And even when we cannot gather in person, we are no less the church. Because what happened that day at Pentecost wasn't that a building got built, it was that God's Holy Spirit moved through all the followers of Christ. And that Holy Spirit moves among us still today, making us one, uniting our spirits even when we cannot be together in person. So this week in worship, you will see messages from your friends in the church family, people who've shared some good news that we have compiled and will be putting together in our Worship From Home resources. But friends, the best news is this. The Holy Spirit is alive and at work in our world today, calling us into new ways of being the church, even in these uncertain times. So happy birthday, church. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. Let the church say amen. See you Sunday.